Hello, welcome to my Brighton pickups video. Now I'm at home at the moment, I haven't been to Brighton yet. I sorted out the Atari area, that's all updated. Uh, the Nintendo Wii area. The two games that are missing, you know, I made spaces for them. And saw that at the bottom there. And I'm working on Mega Drive and Master System. Yeah, three parcels have turned up. I'm going to open these up and see what they are. Okay, the first one is Master of Darkness, and I wanted them into cartridge and book, and the cartridge and book are perfect. So this one is is a success. Next one is Sonic Chaos. Uh, the case and cover is really nice, cartridge is nice, I bought it for the book, and the book is really really nice, so this one is also a success. Okay, one of the ones I was missing was Speedball 2. Was it really necessary to pack it in a box this big? <laughs> That's a bit dumb. Hopefully this one is nice. Now I just needed this for the book. Um, um, the case is quite nice, so that's a bonus. Right, let's have a look at the book, quick. Okay, this one is a fail. This is uh, worse than what I got, so... Okay. Yeah. Okay, this one's going to be returned. Okay, so that's a shame. <laughs> there was loads of Speedball 2s, and I had to pick the worst one. That is very annoying. So, uh, yeah. Also, the Bonanza Brothers game wasn't as perfect unfortunately but um yeah when i got it it was very very filthy but this is this is my old cover see that's pretty damaged and it's like war damage in this which i could remember see see that it's pretty bad now this cover was a bit damaged and you can see it in the corner here but once i gave it a clean up and that it See, it looks better than what it, what it did, and it looks better than that one, so it's kind of worked out. So yeah, I need to continue this, and then I will make my way to Brighton today. Right, I finished the Sega Mar system and Sega Mega Drive. Yeah, and Speedball 2 will be sent back because that is not in the condition I need that to be in if it lied uh, dealt with the Shenmune game yep I definitely needed a nicer Shenmune one unfortunately the box was not good enough but it, the inner covers and books were much better than my one so that was good and yep this is all leftover pieces that's for cash converters and that's for magic whistle gaming so I ain't got a lot of time left, but yeah, still got enough time. But I wish I could have uh, gone earlier. Well, anyway, I better get going. Right, I've made it to Brighton. Going back to Magic Whistle game, all the Disney VHSs.
We've all got to stop today. Um, my job, yeah, is Oh, when Charlie gets back. Quite late. Trains were delayed. Used up some um, CEX store credit. Got that out of it. Got these two for the cases. Now this is very rare, yeah, to find a black case PS2 game in this condition. Look at that. Very nice. Hitman 2. I bought that just to keep. It's in really good condition, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, this is one of the games I was trying to sell at Gash Converters. They didn't offer me enough for it. They offered me two pound. It goes for like, it goes for over twelve pounds. He said, "I don't really go for that much, do they?" I was like, mm, "They do." <laughs> God, never mind. All right. From CEX as well, I got uh, Batman Returns. I got this game already, but I, d I just bought it mostly for the back piece, and I think this label's better than mine. But I just wanted to use up the store credit because, uh, yeah, I really don't want to shop in CEX anymore. Right, moving on to the Magic Whistle game and stuff. That was Rampage. Yeah, unfortunately, this was in better condition, but he popped it near a drawer and it just got all, let's see, got dinged up, which was annoying. This must look good, look, ugh. Phoenix Games, shovelware, just bought this for the gay, so it'll come in handy for something. But uh, again, it didn't quite survive, this was, this was in better condition, uh, something knocked against it. I mean, in the film, you saw how um, untidy their desk was. <laughs> it was not organised. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately I got a bit dinged up. What is that? Oh, yeah. Not meant to show this one. I bought a Christmas present for Joe. It's really cool. So, uh, yeah. Not to show that. Right. I've got some cheap games for their cases. Look how new that is. Look inside as well. This is a crappy football game. Wish I, wish I could find good games in this condition. Look at that. Lovely. Yeah, 
Look how mint the Sonic 2 is. And... A cheap mint mask system game. Good box, a common handy. Uh, the thing I've been waiting to get. Now, my Game Boy's really mint and everything, but the screen was starting to go on it. I figured out the issue. It was, there was a slight, I don't know, it was like sort of clear black plastic connected to the plastic screen and that somehow controlled it. And there was like two screws on the bottom and because half the screen was missing, I thought, oh, maybe I just need to tighten these. And because I applied some pressure on this black plastic stuff, whatever it is, you know, that controls the screen. I put applied a bit of pressure onto it and the screen started to come back on. Um... Because half the screen was missing, it was starting to come back on again. So I thought I'll just tighten the screws. And with the screwdriver, I slipped and cut that plastic bit, and the screen died. So I got another Game Boy. <laughs> yeah. Bought it with the trades. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to sell the broken Game Boy. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, this doesn't look very nice. It's yellowed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screen out of this, put it in my nice Game Boy. So I've got a perfect working mint condition Game Boy. And then the leftovers, which is this Game Boy shell with my broken screen. I'll put that on eBay and get about... Oh, how much the broken Game Boys go for again? About 30, 30 pounds? 35? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, the back of the set very good. Look, <laughs> look at that. Is there corrosion on? Oh god, look at the corrosion. Yeah, not very nice. See, so yeah, I just just bought this to for the screen. So yeah, that's uh, everything right there. So yeah. It's definitely worth going because my, my god there was a lot of junk left over and uh yeah i didn't i didn't get rid of all the stuff i replaced like I, I had to keep this in the end they just didn't offer me enough and there's just some i just kept behind like the master of darkness for my sister my sister's gonna buy that off me the leftovers of that so yeah that's the end of this brighton pickups video thanks for watching goodbye